Hey guys, so welcome back to Cheater Stories, read by me, Ebony White. I know it's been so long since I've posted anything. I just want you to know that I try my best to make these podcasts. Like, it's really, really difficult. Really. Every video, every podcast is brought to you by sheer will and determination because it seems like the universe just doesn't want me to do anything with my life but I am pushing through it and just know that I really try my best. It might not seem like it. Just, just know that I'm really trying my best to get these podcasts out. Like I truly, truly enjoy making these podcasts. It's like, uh, it's kind of like therapeutic. I just enjoy it. I don't know how else to explain it, but also I want to do a shout out to all my loyal listeners any listeners, all of you. I haven't heard from any of you. You can leave me messages on anchor.fm and you can also leave me a review, drop me a note, say hi. You can also send me stories. They don't have to be personal stories from your own experience. They can be someone else's stories. You can send those to my email. Email is in the description. So shout out to my listeners. I have a couple, maybe one or two listeners in Hong Kong. Shout out to Ireland. Germany, United Kingdom, Canada, uh, Australia, have a few listeners out there. And of course, the United States, my home, stateside, Cali, Texas, Virginia, Washington, New York, Florida, Illinois. Shout out to all my listeners. So now let's get started with this episode. Also, Cheater Stories is on YouTube. This podcast has a channel on YouTube. So if you'd like to see the face behind the voice or meet the voice, go ahead and check me out. Okay, so most of these stories, if not all of them, are from women who um, have babies or are pregnant by married men. I mean, cheating is bad enough as it is. And then you add kids into the mix and the confusion and that just makes it worse. A good example of these stories would be that movie called Fences, I believe, starring Eddie Murphy, Denzel Washington, no, not Eddie Murphy, what am I talking about? Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. The character that Denzel Washington played, he was sleeping around with this woman and she got pregnant. The mistress died giving birth to his daughter and then uh, Denzel's character, he died. So guess who was left to take care of the, the love child, the baby? His wife, okay? His wife was there when he got the call that his baby mama had died, giving birth to the baby. She was there and she saw the man's heartbreak. Could you imagine watching a husband's heartbreak over another woman that's giving birth to his baby? You know, so I guess that can count as the first story. Anyway, let's get started. Story number one. So I feel somewhat ashamed admitting this, but my baby's father is married. He's 10 years older than me, 32, a former co-worker, and he was dishonest to me about getting a divorce from his wife. Turns out I was just a mistress, just a piece of ass for him. I truly fell head over heels for him and believed him and accidentally got pregnant. <laughs> now I'm due in four weeks. After I got pregnant and refused to have an abortion or give the baby up, his wife found out and flipped out. Damn right she did. He suddenly decided that he had to save his marriage and in order to do so, could have nothing more to do with me or our son. He sent me horrible emails saying that he'd never be there. I was stupid and selfish for keeping the baby and that I deserved what I got aka ending up alone a single working mother i haven't seen him since april and i haven't been in contact with him since then either he sent me a few horrible abusive emails but we haven't had any other contact and i ignore them this was when i was 14 weeks pregnant i emailed him when i found out we were having a boy and he responded by saying the following i think you should know that i'm not and haven't been reading your twitter page or anything else Email is the only method by which you and I are communicating and we both agreed to restrict that to things related to my legal responsibility in this situation. I don't care about gender or names or anything that doesn't change my responsibility. Ooh. 
Now I'm 36 weeks along and still am not over the emotional pain of being abandoned during pregnancy, lied to, etc. I feel so much emotional outrage on behalf of our son because his father is willfully choosing to deny him a dad by saying he'll never be there. I'm angry at his wife, although it's probably not right of me to be so, because she's staying with him and condoning him being a deadbeat dad and not being there for his baby. And I'm furious at him that he cares so little about his child or me, the woman who's carrying him. He hasn't checked in once to see how I or the child am doing. It just truly blows my mind that someone can truly care so little about and forsake their own flesh and blood. I'm planning on filing for child support. He and the wife are insisting on a paternity test, but I don't care. I know 100% he's the dad. He's the only guy I was involved with but I still can't get over the fact that he doesn't even want to see or know his son. I mean, really, you can't, I I mean, the man, he wants to save his marriage, right? He's doing what he feels he needs to do to save his marriage at this point, which is cutting off all communication. The fact that she is mad at the wife, like, I don't feel like she should be mad at the wife there's not much the wife can do. I mean, what does she expect the wife to do? Like, you know, come by and visit her, you know, visit this woman who was sleeping with her husband uh, and got pregnant. I mean, I'm gonna read some of the comments that people posted down below. So this lady, she responded that she should get in touch with child support enforcement, have him do a DNA test, and then have him sign his parental rights away and find another man. Find another man that will be willing to adopt your son. It's quite possible that the wife has told him to cut off all communication. And um, it's possible that she gave him an ultimatum. Um, and that's a real touchy uh, situation because the fact that he can't keep his dick in his pants, he can't be trusted, he's a liar, he's a cheater, so what's the wife supposed to do? She's, I mean, at this point, the damage is already done, but she's trying to, she's trying to save whatever relationship that she has left with him. So she's like, uh-uh, no, shut it down. I don't even know what else to say about that. It's just messed up. And, and honestly, like all these stories are horrible just like that. I'm pretty much speechless about this whole, genre of cheating stories like this kind of cheating is like it's it's super bad like it's really bad when you have babies involved all right so moving on story number two i am currently 30 weeks pregnant with twin girls oh my gosh <laughs> he has known this since i found out at four weeks he's been a jerk during my entire pregnancy which was weird because me and him have been dating on and off for nine years, but six of those years have been long distance. Today, a woman called me and said while I was texting him, why are you sending pictures to my husband and telling him about your twins? I was floored. I mean, I literally started vomiting. She asked where they, she asked where they his, I said yes, and she hung up. I'm 30 weeks pregnant with freaking twins. Oh my fucking God. I don't know what to do. FTM and I'm 29. What's FTM mean? FTM and I'm 29. Now I just Googled FTM, the acronym, and it means female to male. So she's a female that's transferred to a male, like transgender tranny, tranny male. I've seen, I've seen this before. I've seen women that think they're men and then they have babies and then in the newspaper the headline will be something like oh this man got pregnant but really it's a woman that thinks they're a man so we have an ftm pregnant with twin girls <laughs> oh my god anyway so his number dialed back but i was vomiting so i couldn't answer haven't spoken about this to anyone this happened about two hours ago how the fuck is he married if he's been with me, where was she when I would spend nights with him and he would come spend nights with me? But most importantly, what the hell do I do now? What's gonna happen with my babies? So then after that, she says, 
He called me, then hung up on me afterwards. I told him I don't give a shit about nothing regarding none of that. I need him to take care of his responsibilities. So what are his plans? He didn't respond and I got a dial tone. All right, so this story is coming from Dear Abby. I don't know if you've heard of her, but Dear Abby's been around for a long time. People write in, ask her for advice, and then she'll respond back with her two cents. Okay. Dear Abby, I'm a 31-year-old, never married mother of two. Last summer, I started having an affair with Jordan, quote unquote, the father of my first child. He left me when our daughter was a year old and has been engaged for three years in an on-again, off-again relationship. I could give you excuses about why the affair started up again, but the truth is we both knew it was wrong and continued to do it anyway. I never stopped loving him and I thought it would bring him back to me. Today I found out from Jordan's fiance that they have set their wedding date for next spring. She said they would like for me to come. As if it wouldn't be painful enough to go to the wedding, his fiance also asked me to do her hair for the occasion. I'm a hairstylist. Abby, Jordan and I are still having an affair. I want to tell her, but I don't want him to hate me. I believe this wedding is a big mistake for many reasons, not just the obvious. Please give me some outside advice. Signed, can't help myself in Ohio. Now Abby responds with, dear, can't help yourself. Okay, the first thing to do was wake up, smell the coffee, and accept the fact that resuming the sexual relationship with Jordan has not had the desired effect. He will be marrying someone else. Next, concentrate on saving yourself and waste no more of your time on him. That is, if you would like a permanent monogamous relationship with someone. Jordan has given you ample proof that he is incapable of being faithful to one woman. And last, tell his fiance that you do not plan to attend the wedding or do her hair because you are in love with Jordan and have been sleeping with him since last summer. Abby tells her that she should tell the fiance, tell the fiance everything. And so in saying that, Abby is also saying, you need to blow the whistle on this so they don't get married. Save this girl. You need to move on and accept the fact that he he's a cheater. He, he can't be with one woman and stop this marriage. Like, at least let this lady know what she's getting herself into. It's just, it wouldn't be right for her to not tell her. It sounds like she had some kind of relationship with this fiance. This is another good example where the cheater needs their ass beat and the one that they're cheating with needs their ass beat, like equally. Like some people, a lot of people say, oh, you can't be mad at the other woman you can't be mad at the other male. Yes, you can. Because most of the time, seven out of 10 times, that motherfucker knows about you. Now, some of the time they don't know, but most of the time they do. Yes, they need their ass beat. They need to be put in their place if possible. In my eyes, they're just as guilty as the cheater because they know you're married. They know you have kids. They know your whole situation, like they stay up at night talking about your ass. All right, so next story, this is number four. So I have a beautiful two month old son. I was dating someone who was married, who I thought was separated. Turns out he was lying to both of us to have his cake and eat it too. Learned the truth after I found out I was pregnant. Him and his wife are still together and he got her pregnant with their third son a month after me. Um, I personally don't want anything from him and he's never met my son, but keeps in just enough contact to make sure I don't forget about him. He says he wants to be a father to him and make him part of their family, but never comes through when he says or wants his wife to meet him too. And I'm just not a fan of the idea of being in the same room as them together. She's been really mean and awful to me while I was pregnant blaming the affair on me, even though I was in the dark about the situation. I don't trust him to take my son for visits without me right now, since he's never met him before, and I'm exclusively breastfeeding, and they bottle feed their new baby, and they have three kids under the age of five. Am I being unreasonable? I don't wanna keep my son away from his dad or half brothers, but I also don't think I should have to do all the work. He never reaches out to ask about my son, doesn't show up to meet him when he says he will. When I have sent him pictures, he sent me pictures of the new baby in response and blames me for his distance. 
any advice on how to handle this, I feel torn, frustrated, and confused. Um, this is like a blended family situation, but they're not blending with good reason. Like, this never should have happened. I mean, I don't even know what should happen. Like, what kind of relationship can you expect from a cheating husband who's married? and has a baby from another woman. What 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 can you truly expect out of that? What what are you supposed to be asking? Like what what's what's the minimum? What's the maximum? Like uh she doesn't want him to take the baby to hang out with the family, and I'm pretty sure it's not a great idea to have him over there visiting with with the the side piece and the baby. So you got to think the relationship you had with this man was under like false uh pretense like it was it was uh you had this relationship based on an illusion like your relationship was built on sand you know it's, it's there's there's no foundation and then you have a baby with the married man you got to consider the type of person that you're dealing with here you're dealing with a snake but the part that i don't understand is that they expect these men to be like stand-up guys. Oh yeah, he's he's gonna come around and he's gonna pay child support and, and he's gonna love me and take care of me and, and escort me to my um, uh, doctor's appointments and he's gonna be in my kid's life. Who do you think you're fucking with? He's, he's, he's scum. He's a shitty person. That's how the whole relationship started from the get-go because he's a shitty liar. He's a cheater. So why do they expect this guy to like, I don't know, just like magically turn into this upstanding guy that's gonna come through and, and, and father two different families? Okay, we're not gonna be together, but um, I'm expecting him to be my knight in shiny armor. He's gonna be like this real classy guy that's gonna just shower me with love and attention and me and my baby, he's gonna come over and he's gonna, you know, we're just gonna be all one big happy family. No, that would be ideal, but that's not who you had a baby with. You had a baby with a cheater. Most men who cheat and stay with their families are not going to take care of the baby that they had outside the marriage. Most cases, this turns out very bad, as you can see. All right, so next story, this is number five. I'm pregnant by a married man who has no children with his wife. They met at university, lost their virginity to each other, and I've been together since. He's had numerous other affairs with other women, two of them before he got married. He has told her that I'm pregnant. They have talked about it and she wants them to stay together. At first he said he would leave her, but now he says he will stay. But he wants to be at the birth and has told me that he will spend nights at my home looking after the baby. It looks as if he's promising to be in two places at once. He says he must build up his wife's confidence before he can tell her about the scale of commitment he wants to make to our child. But I feel his approach simply illustrates that they don't communicate well. I'm also fed up with him being miserable about the situation and being amorous towards me only to go home to his wife. Do I cut him out of my life for my own sake and to save my child from a disruptive upbringing or do I let him get involved? she knew he was married and she knew he was a cheater a habitual cheater and now that she's pregnant she got pregnant on purpose by a married man she's expecting a whole lot and he's promising a whole lot to me it sounds like she was almost expecting him to leave his his wife simply because they don't have any kids together and now me and me and him have a kid, so you know why stay with his wife? Um, that's just me. That's what I'm getting from it, and the fact that she knew he was married, 
and she knew he was a cheater, like, that makes her a dumb broad to me. That makes her an equal party in this situation. Like, she's just as guilty as he is. I hope he does stay with his wife just to spite her, just to show her that, like, you fucked up. You fucked up fucking with the married man. That's what you thought. You thought you was going to pull him. And a lot of people, a lot of men and women do that. They, mostly women, they fool around because they get a kick out of it thinking, oh, you know, I can take your man and I can pull your wife. A lot of people get a kick out of taking other people's property. I think this is one of those situations. Um, and she fucked up. Like, in the end, she lost. Next story, this is number six. I recently found out that I'm pregnant and I'm very happy but my only concern is that the father is married. He is separated from his wife, but they have three young children, including a set of infant twins. <sighs> Here's the thing. Don't fuck with a married man. That's like rule number one. Do not fuck with someone who's married. I don't care what kind of legal terminology they use whether they're separated whether they're estranged whether they're they're filing or that they're having they're going through the divorce or whatever it is they're still married someone say oh any of that verbiage but and not oh get the fuck out of there run for your life so she says i have no intention of taking him away from his family but he keeps assuring me that he is ready and excited to be starting a family with me. I guess my question is, has anyone ever been in a similar situation and how did it turn out? I'm not looking to be put down. I know this isn't the ideal situation. His wife knows he is with someone. She just doesn't know that it's me. Like I said, they are separated with plans to divorce. I just want some advice from someone who has been in this situation before from either side. Okay, this guy has a set of infant twins. So he just had a baby with his separated wife. Supposedly they're separated, but they just had a set of twins. Now a lot can happen in 40 weeks. So I'm wondering if this lady had something to do with him separating from his wife. Just the timing and everything just doesn't sound right. So that means he was having sex with this woman while his wife was pregnant, okay? And most likely he was still having sex with his wife. So this guy, and the fact that she knew that he was married and, oh Jesus. This lady, she knew he was married with little kids. I'm pretty sure she knew his wife was pregnant with twins and still decided to get pregnant by this guy. This guy is now financially strapped to four kids. I think it's sad that she is looking to him for a stable relationship when this man is not stable himself. This man is confused. He has issues. This man was having sex with you while his wife was pregnant and got you pregnant. He's lying and saying he's separated. Obviously, they're not separated. She said, I have no intentions of taking him away from his family. That means he's still with his family. And she knew that. So both of these people are not all there. Both of them are crazy. Both of them are out of their mind. Both of them are, are unstable. Like she's looking forward to having a relationship with this unstable liar. I don't feel sorry for her. She was really dumb getting pregnant by this guy. I feel like she should take everything he says with a grain of salt. Don't have any expectations of him, what he might do. I think she should just focus and plan her life without him. And if he decides to be part of the baby's life, then that's great. But I think she should plan it 
you know, the way she wants it planned without him so that she's not let down and like severely disappointed. All right, next story. I think this is number seven. Okay, so I was with my baby's father for four years. When I met him, he had just gotten out of a relationship with a woman he described as quote unquote crazy. Long story short, we got along fabulously. I pretty much moved in with him. I cooked for him, we went on vacations together, etc. I then got pregnant in the two year mark of our relationship. I didn't think it was a big deal that we didn't get married and we'd eventually get married. Long story short, I stumbled upon some messages between his ex and him. He's telling her how much he misses her, wants to meet up. He's proud of her that she passed her first step in medical school and etc. This is the same woman he said did not cook and could not perform wifely duties, which is why he liked me so much and fell in love with me. I feel like now that my boyfriend has rose through the ranks, has a nice tech job, he works for a well-known tech company. He felt like he was too good for me now. I didn't finish college, just went for a year, and I'm an assistant manager for a restaurant. It's been a year now, and he's engaged to his crazy ex. My heart is broken. This guy, he's wishy-washy, you know, he's fickle. You just never know about people. You just don't know. Like, I feel bad for homegirl, you know? I really do. She doesn't go into detail about why they broke up. Most likely, they broke up over this blooming relationship with his ex. I wish her well, and I hope he helps her out financially with that baby with his nice, you know, a lot of those tech jobs pay pretty good. So hopefully, he's helping take care of that baby financially, at least, you know, financially. All right, so that was the last story, actually. I thought I had at least one more, but that's it. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye.